Welcome back to Naples Nature Weekly. My name is Susan. Have you ever seen a passion flower vine? If so, you may have seen what looks like a monarch butterfly flying around, but it is not. Well, this spectacular butterfly is the Gulf Fritillary. The passion flower vine is a busy place with the males patrolling for females, mating, the laying of teeny tiny eggs, singularly mostly on the tendrils of the leaves, the caterpillars hatching from the eggs, and the caterpillars munching and crunching until their last instar. What is instar, you may ask? The tiny caterpillars that hatch eat voraciously, literally growing out of their skin several times. This is called instar. This makes me think of a great children's book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In Florida, these butterflies can be found in all 67 counties and in all months of the year in the Naples area. The Gulf Fritillary produces multiple generations each year. Gulf Fritillaries, or Fritz as their nickname is, have a rapid irregular flight. The Gulf Fritillary are a type of long-winged butterfly with elongated forewings. Long-winged butterflies are almost always in the Heliconius genus. Adults have a wingspan of about three inches. The length of a crayon. Females are generally larger than males. These butterflies are dazzling on both sides. The upper surface of the wing is bright reddish orange with black markings. Females are somewhat darker or more extensively marked. The forewing contains three black rimmed white spots. The undersides of the wings bear impressive black markings with many striking iridescent silver spots. Once the butterfly egg is laid, you can expect to wait about three to seven days for it to hatch. The butterfly caterpillar will eat and grow for about two to four weeks. It will then turn into a chrysalis. The chrysalis looks like a dead leaf hanging off the vine. This helps them to camouflage easily amongst the leaves. The butterfly will emerge from the chrysalis in about one to two weeks. As a group, passionflower vines are protected from most leaf munching caterpillars and other insects by a brew of highly toxic chemicals, including strychnine and nicotine that release cyanide upon entering the body. However, the Gulf Fritillary have no problem feasting on their leaves. The striking orange and black coloration of this butterfly warns predators, you'll be sorry if you eat me. In addition to any plant derived defenses, the beautiful Gulf Fritillary has one more bit of chemical trickery to help keep predators at bay. Glands on the abdomen produce and release a concoction of complex chemicals when the adult butterfly is disturbed. This stinky defense fluid deters predators such as birds from eating these stunning butterflies. If you plant a passion vine, you will be fortunate enough to see the entire life cycle from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to adult. The library is only a few clicks or a telephone call away. Don't forget to visit callyourlibrary.org. See you next week on Facebook.